Hello, my name is Stephanie Roop, and I'll be reading for Grace. I'm not dating you for your body, honey. I'm dating you for your brain. So start using it. Okay, I was bitten. Obviously. Is it though? Can ghosts bite? No. Then I wasn't bitten. Well, it wasn't a ghost. A specter then, or a phantom? Could be a poltergeist. I mean, this building is crazy old. Or it could be a curse, or a spell, or a potion. Have you stolen any land, or impregnated any unwed maidens lately? You could be a were-shark. You've always been a biter. I don't bite, I nip. Just like how you don't slurp, you sip. So you don't sleep, you kip. I mean, I get that rhyme, but come on, you can do better than that. Okay, you don't turn, you whip. Closer, though inaccurate. <laughs> True. You do have a tendency of moving like a sloth. What the fuck do you know about sloths? Fuck you, I watch Ellen. Ah, I'm so confused. So where do you keep the tinfoil? What? Why? <laughs> We're talking about magic and ghosts and impossible things. We sound insane. I know, but I was bitten. I'm not playing games or messing with you. This happened. I know, Bertie, but an invisible ghost mini shark that bit you in the shower, how do we tell that to a doctor without getting at least one of us sent to the nut house? <laughs> I don't know. Where are Scooby and the gang when you need them? They're always with you, right here. Though, personally, I really would hope that it's not some old dude dressed in a shark costume in the shower with us. Well, I wouldn't put it past Jeff to try it. You really need new friends.